Welcome to New York State Online Services NYS 45 web file demonstration. To begin, log into your New York State Online Services account. If you haven't created an Online Services account, visit the Online Services section of our website to learn how. Select services located in the upper left of your account summary page. From the drop-down menu, select Employment and Withholding Taxes, then select NYS45 web file. This will bring you to the questionnaire page. In the section headed Filing Information, provide the requested information about the filing period. Next, in the section headed Filing Details, let us know if you are manually entering employees or pays or uploading a file. In this demonstration, we will show you how to manually enter information, but businesses with less than 1000 employees or pays can also choose to upload a file. For information on uploading a file, see our NYS45 upload demonstration. Note that if you enter more than 1000 employees, you will be required to upload a file. When all information has been entered, select Continue. Next on the Taxpayer Information page, we will ask for some additional information about your business for the selected quarter and year. You can save your filing by selecting Save and Exit, located in the upper right of each screen. To learn more about specific fields or questions, select the question mark icon beside it. In the section headed Taxpayer Information, let us know if any of the listed conditions apply to your business. When all information has been entered, select Continue. This will bring you to the Employee or Pay Wage Reporting and Withholding Information page. In the section headed Employee or Pay Wage Reporting and Withholding Information, you will be able to manually enter information for each employee or pay. To add rows for additional employees or pays, select the Add 25 Rows button. Note that under the field labeled Wage Type, you will be able to select either Regular Wages or Employees or Other for Other Pay Types. When all employee information has been entered, select Calculate to calculate your total UI remuneration, wages paid and taxes withheld. If all information is correct, select Continue. On the Unemployment Insurance Information page, provide the number of employees for each month in the reporting period. Then in the section headed UI information, let us know if you paid any excess UI remuneration. Note that the UI tax rate will set to the default rate if you don't have a UI rate on file with the Department of Labor. If you do not have a UI rate on file, 
you can edit this default rate. If you have a rate on file, you cannot edit this rate. Once all information has been entered, select Calculate. To calculate your total UI contributions due, when all information has been entered, select Continue. If we calculated any unemployment tax due, you will be brought to the Unemployment Insurance Tax Due Details page. In the section headed Tax Due Details, your total UI amount due will be displayed. In the section headed Payment Information, your total amount due will be listed as a payment. You may change this payment amount but be aware that paying less than the total amount due may result in penalties and interest charges. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. If we calculated any withholding tax due, you will be brought to the Withholding Tax Tax Due Details page. Select Payment History to view a summary of NYS 1 payments made for the quarter. Select Back to Return to the Tax Due Details page. In the section headed Tax Due Details, your withholding tax due information will be displayed. To apply a credit from the previous period, enter the amount into the box labeled WT Credit from Previous Quarter's Return. If we have record of a credit on file from the previous period, we will provide that amount here. If you disagree with this credit amount, you can update it to reflect your records. Then select Calculate. In the section headed Payment Information, your total amount due will be listed as a payment. You may change this payment amount but be aware that paying less than the total amount due may result in penalties and interest charges. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. If you owe unemployment insurance or withholding tax, you will be brought to the Pay from Bank account page, where you can make a direct debit payment from a checking or savings account. To make a payment, enter your bank routing number. The bank name should populate automatically. Next, enter and confirm your bank account number. Select the account type from the drop down menu and enter the name of the account holder. If you would like us to save your bank account information for future filings, check the box labeled Save Bank Account. If the return you are filing is not past due, you will have the option to schedule your payment for a future date. You cannot schedule a payment later than the return's due date. If you have partially paid or we determine you owe an additional amount, we will bill you for the remaining balance. We won't debit your account for more than the amount authorized. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. If you owe both unemployment insurance and withholding tax, you will be returned to the Pay from Bank account page to enter payment information from your withholding tax due. If you saved your bank account in the previous step, it will populate in the section labeled Choose Bank Account. Select it here or enter and review your payment information. When you are ready to review your return, select Continue. This will bring you to the Review and Verify page. To make changes to your filing information, select Edit. If all the information is correct, review the e-signature section and select Submit. On the Transaction Confirmation page, you will receive a confirmation number to show that your return has been received. You should select Print 
to print a copy of this confirmation page for your records. To print or save a copy of your full return, select View Print Form. Select File Amend Another Return to File or Amend Another Return. This completes our demonstration. If you have questions, please visit our website for further information. Thank you for your interest in New York State Online Services.